Athletic Club and we're about to meet an Olympic swimmer who's also a coach here. Let's go! accomplishment to qualify for the Olympics and this athlete went to the Olympics and won a gold medal. This is gold medalist Jeff Flo. Hi Jeff. Hello. So you must get this all the time but your last name is perfect for the sport. Yeah you know I grew up I, my, my last name isn't Ball or Diamond or you know so a name like Flo Swimmer it, it would seem like a perfect fit. <laughs> Perfect for swimming. Uh -huh. So when did you start swimming? Uh, I started here at Arden Hills when I was uh, approximately seven years old in 1967. Wow, so you started here. Uh -huh. How does it feel to come back and be coaching here? Well, a lot's changed since then, obviously. Uh, we used to be doing over-distance training, and now we're doing what's called ultra-short race pace training. So it's changed a lot, and not just physically, but also uh, with the sport of swimming itself. Wow, it's changed so much. Yeah. So I saw your relay at the Olympics, and it was such an exciting race. Yeah. Like, I already knew the outcome, but I had to watch it again. It was just incredible. So how was that experience for you and on the podium and all that? Well, speaking of that video, it's like every time I watch it, I wonder when we're going to finish second, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it, I like to tell people that, you know, my career spans 17 years, and from the moment you walk out, you know, to go into the theater, to, to, to doing a race and then, you know, after your race and going to the awards stand, it's about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's 17 years wrapped into about 15 minutes. So all the years of training and dedication and then getting that gold medal. So you have two gold medals on. Well, the second one was from uh, 1980 um, when I made the team and uh, Jimmy Carter at the time. Uh, boycotted those Olympic Games because they were being hosted by Moscow in Russia at the time. This was a congressional gold medal uh, that we received from the uh, U.S. Congress and the President. And um, so we got to, after our trial, we got to go visit Washington, D.C. and meet the President and shake his hand. And, and then this is your, the other gold this medal? This is the actual uh, gold medal from uh, 1984, and uh, it's kind of modeled after the 1932 Olympics that were in L.A. So you can kind of look at it from the side, and you can, you know, see the changes as you turn it, and it's, you know, it's got a lot of depth to it. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. And not only that, I hear you have 10 gold medals and world records at the World Deaf Games. Is that right? It was, uh, yeah, it's in 1977. I went to the World De De Game for the Deaf in uh, Bucharest, Romania, and that was kind of my first big international trip, and it was a very really eye-opening experience. Wow. And so I hear you, you like to give back to the community. Can you talk about Swim Across America? Well, Swim Across America was started back on the East Coast uh, by the gentleman by the name of Jeff Keith, who actually ran across America, and he lost his leg to cancer. And he was good friends with uh, some swimmers, and they started an event called Swim Across America, and they raised money for cancer research, uh, pediatric oncology in the, local, in the local area that they're doing their swim. So they raised a tremendous amount of money for a great cause. Oh, that's wonderful. It's great that you're still involved with the community, still coaching, and yeah. then still a part of the Olympic family, right? Because you were a torchbearer? Well, uh, yeah, in 1996, when the Olympics were in at Atlanta, uh, I had the opportunity to, to carry the torch, and it was quite, quite an experience. Um, I actually carried it across I was in two counties, <laughs> but it was only about, you know, a quarter mile, or eighth of a mile. So talk about distance. Have you ever calculated how far you swung? Well, yes, I did out of curiosity. Um, I, I swum about 35,000 miles in my, in my lifetime by, by averaging how many yards I swam a day over so many, so many years, um, including, you know, college and, and summertime and all that over a 17-year period. That sounds so far. Robo, can you show us how far that is on the map? 
35,000 miles equals one and a half times around the Earth. You're coaching here. Um, mm -hmm. What do you want your legacy to be and what do you want the students to learn from you? I think it's instilling a belief in kids these days uh, that they can achieve more than they ever thought they could. Uh, you know, being able to give back um, and receiving more than I, than I give um, from the kids and from the programs that I've been involved with. And I think um, that more, uh, more than anything, you know, it, it, it's nice to win the gold medal, but I think it's more the, the, the lessons you learn along the way and what you're able to learn from those lessons and pass on to the next generation. And I just talked to your lovely wife and she said mm -hmm. that you're more than a gold medalist and that you have a golden heart. Oh. And that is just the truth. And thank you so much oh, for this welcome. interview. And hey, can you show us some of your coaching drills? Well, yeah, we've got kids that are in the water right now and then um, we can certainly do that. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. All right. All right, you ready to go? Show me some fast kicking now, ready? And go! Kick, 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 come on, there you go, there you go, there we go. Hard and soul. Hard and soul. Reach your goal. Reach your goal. One more hard and soul. Reach your goal. Reach your goal. Okay, one lap of backstroke kicking in the torpedo, are you ready? Another day in paradise. Push up. Go. This stroke is called the butterfly. Hannah, Hannah, eyes up on your slide back. And what stroke is this? Correct, the back stroke. Count how many did Ready and go. Go, go, go. Go. Let's go, Van. Kick, kick, kick. Ready and kick, 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 kick. Kick, 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 kick. Thank you so much to Jeff and Jan Flo and everybody here at Arden Hills. We had so much fun learning about the Olympics. Be sure to check out our Olympics fitness video with 15 moves inspired by Olympic sports. We'll see you on our next adventure. Join us for another fitness adventure by clicking the Robotots playlist. Whoa. And be sure to tell your friends.